We have an update now, an important development in a story we've been tracking all morning long. Uh, the driver who was involved in this rollover crash and has been missing for hours now. Divers had been searching the waters just under the Ship Canal Bridge all morning long after believed to have that man to believe to have fallen into the water. Yeah, let's get to Angeli Cockaday with uh, an important update here. Angeli, what are you uh, seeing? What are you hearing there under the Ship Canal Bridge? A big update here, Jake and Mimi here, 182 feet under under the Ship Canal Bridge. The body of that man that was the driver that was in the accident has been found. If you take a look behind me, we just saw uh, we just saw those police boats. The police have the Harbor Patrol. There was two boats. They had originally had put some the underwater drone device in the water. They were searching. A second boat came with a diver, uh, and then th th was, it was a hidden a little bit. The boat it was hard to see. The boats were hiding what was going on but ultimately we did see the we did see police pull them the body out and put that body back into the boat and the police have now left so that is what is happening at this point but take a look at your screen for just a little bit of background on that search uh, search and re rescue and recovery effort divers got into the water about 15 minutes after the accident that was from SFD they were staying in the water for about an hour with the temperature around 58 degrees again it was just unlikely that that missing driver that was in the water would be alive. Now, there were several conflicting uh, conflicting viewpoints that we were hearing this morning that if the driver was in the water, if he had walked off somewhere. Uh, but again, now we do know that the driver was in the water. His body has now been found. So that is what is happening here. That is the big update of the story from this morning that caused, that caused all of the traffic up on I-5 that commuters had to deal with.